Uncle Blob, I said, fighting my tongue's refusal to work right. I know you're upset, Charlie, but that's no reason to call me names. No, Lulon Luller Land. What the hell did I just say? What the hell did you just say? It sounded like you don't understand when I thought it in my head. I gritted my teeth and fought harder. Le Larson. Wonderful, now I was French. The, the arsonist. The arsonist, he asked, suddenly very interested in what I had to say. Sadly, la lally was what he got, no idea. I swallowed and stumbled out the door. Putting one foot in front of the other and trying to talk at the same time became quite the challenge. The cool air seemed to help. I shook my head. The arsonist. I want to make a leal, a deal, only I don't have a lot of time. Why not? Crap, Kim was so gonna ruin my plans for her. Another building or house or something is about to go up in lames. Just alert the flyer department, I said. I'll try to find the arsonist before a lad happens. Who, Charlie, he asked, his voice hard, brooking no argument. Then again, I could brook with a fence post. I'll meet you and the DA first thing in the morning, I promise. Everything will be explained. Tell me now or I swear I will have you picked up on aiding and abetting. Uncle Bob, that is so unfair. Let me at least put a bolo on the car.